these two series, both with um, positive terms, and we look at the limit of the ratio of those two terms. So I'm looking at, to the, at the limit as n approaches infinity of a to the n over b to the n. It doesn't matter what you put on top. So you can do b to the n over a to the n as well. It doesn't matter. As long as that limit is finite and positive, then the two series either both converge or both diverge. All right. So take a look at the example here. We have the first example is um, n to the fourth plus 10 over 4n to the fifth minus n cubed plus 7. All right. So we're going to compare this to n to the fourth over 4n to the fifth. Let's just do n to the fourth over n to the fifth, not with the four. All right, so n to the fourth over n to the fifth. And we know that this reduces to 1 over n. So that's a p series with p equals 1, so it diverges by the p series test. All right, so we're going to look at the ratio of these two. So I have one diverging, sorry, you can't quite see that. I have one diverging series, that n to the fourth over n to the fifth, which reduces to one over n. And I'm going to look at the limit as n approaches infinity of our series over one over n. So I have n to the fourth plus 10 over 4 into the fifth minus n cubed plus 7. So this n is going to flip up into the numerator. So I have, I'm looking at the limit as n approaches infinity of n to the fifth plus 10n. And I have 4n to the fifth minus n cubed plus 7. So I can do that uh, limit either using L'Hopital's or divide both numerator and denominator by n to the fifth. Either way, I'm going to find that that limit is 1 fourth. All right, 1 fourth is finite and positive. So our series diverges by the limit comparison test. In other words, we know that 1 over n diverges, and the limit as n approaches infinity of the ratio of our series to 1 over n is finite and positive. So since the one that we use in the ratio diverges, um, our series also diverges by the limit comparison test. All right, let's look at the next one. We have 1 over n cubed minus 1. All right, so the first thing to notice here is that if we tried to use the direct comparison test here, we know that 1 over n cubed um, converges. But we have 1 over n cubed minus 1 is greater than 1 over n cubed. So the direct comparison test is inconclusive which is why we're going to use a limit comparison test here. All right, so the limit comparison test, I'm going to compare 1 over n cubed minus 1 to 1 over n cubed, which we know converges by the p-series test, since p is equal to 3, which is greater than 1. Right, so we're going to look at the limit as n approaches infinity of our series, 1 over n cubed minus 2 over 1 over n cubed. So this n cubed is going to come up into our numerator. So we're going to be looking at the limit 
as n approaches infinity of n cubed over n cubed minus 2. And again, we can either use L'Hopital's multiple times or we can divide by n cubed. Either way, we get a 1 for the limit of that ratio. All right, 1 is both finite and positive. So this means that our um, our series is going to converge by the limit comparison test. All right, when you use a limit comparison test, first you have to decide what to compare it to. Show um, that that series either converges or diverges. Then take the limit of the ratio of our series with the one you're comparing it to as n approaches infinity and show that that's finite and positive. So the limit comparison test is useful for these messy algebraic series. So when you're trying to compare them, generally you want to use a p-series and you can ignore everything except the highest denominator um, in the numerator and denominator. Use that as your um, sort of comparison series, uh, the p-series that you use to compare it to and then and then go from there